Every day, I see how disconnected we are, disconnected from each other, which is actually quite funny to me because most of us carry devices with us that enable us to go on the internet all the time. So just imagine yourself being on a train, you look to your left, people are on their smartphones, you look to your right, people listen to music, they're reading a book, and you know, nobody's really paying attention to the now, they're all for themselves. So just imagine the, the train stops at the next station, and uh, suddenly the whole atmosphere changes, because a person comes in, and um, with this little fellow, you know, so, um, yeah, even the beautiful stranger sitting right across from you, she starts smiling at you, and um, you've got a vibe going on, you know. So, um, I, was, I was wondering, you know, in 2007, I was in the same exact situation, and no, I didn't marry that girl, but, um, you know, I, I, I wondered how can I bring the people together, like this puppy did. And not just on the train, but on a global scale, worldwide. So I was thinking, I would need a really big puppy for that. But carrying around a really big puppy, like a 5,000 kilogram puppy, that's heavy as fuck, but um, also it wouldn't be cute anymore, I guess, because it's so big. So I thought, okay, I'm, I'm a musician, uh, let me just use music as a powerful tool to do it. So after three years of hard work, in, two, in 2010, I released a, a record called Worldwide Rap, you can see there. And um, I made the music and got 76 artists from all around the world together that rap and sing in 29 languages on it. So um, that's why I got invited here, because it has never been done before to put the world, bring the world together like that. And for me, I did it because I wanted to show that no matter where you're from, no matter what color your skin is, we can all do something positive together, because I think that's really needed in these days. So uh, this is not the only good thing that music enabled me to do. I want to share three stories with you that uh, show the power of music. So let me start with the first one. It took place in um, Tanzania, at the market in Arusha. So uh, I was walking there, and you see uh, the people are pretty like dark-skinned, and I like melanin, so I stick out. And um, I went there, and people, they, they, they want to sell stuff, right? They are at the market, they do their job. So they come to me, like, okay, hey, you want to buy these chains? Do you want to buy this and that? So I was like, hey, a young dude coming up to me, and I was like, hey, Listen, I don't even have money on me. I don't want to waste your time. You're on your job. You're busy. I don't have money, right? So he was like, still trying to sell me something. Still trying to sell me something. And after a while, he asked me, OK, what are you doing here? Because I said, hey, you know, if, if you want to talk to me, I'm, I would be delighted because I don't know my way around here and stuff. So uh, I, was, I was like, uh, I'm a musician. I'm, I do hip hop music. And next thing I know, he whistled. And suddenly, 15 of his friends come, and they want me to rap for them. Oh, usually I don't do that because it's like if I get to know a doctor and then I say, hey, your doctor, can you maybe heal my rash here? Or maybe I'm a hairdresser or some, somebody working at the barbershop, hey, can you cut my hair right now? It's just, it's just impolite, you know? And, but I did, and yeah, uh, next thing that I know what, what happened is we're walking through the streets with uh, like 100 people and everybody was shouting, clapping, and, and it was really great, an amazing experience. And, it really built the bridge because before, people, they were in their zone, they were just thinking about, okay, I need to make some money because I need some food in the evening. But then, you know, they, it, it got personal and even we do, yeah, it didn't matter anymore that I was white and they were black and stuff like that. So whenever, you know, as a musician, it's, it's pretty hard to survive nowadays money-wise. And whenever I think about days like this, and I, I still remember why I did it and why I do it. So the next uh, thing, Next story is, uh, I was in Senegal three times. You can see uh, that Sister Far right there, the old woman, really old. Sorry, Fatou. But um, we, we go into schools, because in 1999, uh, in Senegal, um, female genital cutting was made illegal. But still, in a lot of villages, this uh, tradition is still in practice, so they still do it. And Sister Far, she's been cut herself, and she's a human rights activist and a very famous artist over there. And um, she took me and we went to schools and had workshops there and we performed and played concerts. And you know, in a lot of villages, after we came there, they, they banned the tradition. And, and there were people coming to us, families, fathers, mothers, and they were like, hey man, you, you maybe saved the life of my daughter because it's, it's a dangerous practice that we do here. 
So for me, that's, that's amazing because, you know, where the politics failed in 1999, it's, it's 15 years ago. And still in a lot of places, it's, they still do it. You know, it's, for me, it's amazing that music could help, again, build the bridge to change, really, things there. And next uh, thing, like my last story, um, even the big players, like that's, that's uh, the European Commission right there, um, the global players, even they know about the power of music because, uh, like, for example, the, the European Commission, they made me the German ambassador for Youth on the Move. And uh, that's a really beautiful program for, for youngins, but I can't talk about it right now because it would take too much time. But you should check it out on the internet. And, um, you know, they know the power, about the power of music. They, uh, they have exhibitions where they want to talk to young people and, and reach them. And they say, hey, man, we need you because we are old people in suits and the, people, the young people, they don't listen to us. So, so that's why, you know, they say, hey, please build again the bridge with the music so we can reach them. So, yeah, that's like beautiful vibes right there. Um, let me summarize everything I said. Um, you know, I started out with a dream. Um, then I wanted to make it a reality. I set goals and I pursued them with persistence and consistency. And, yeah then I'll make them reality. So what if everyone in this room would do the same, because I'm not special at all, you know? So I know you got dreams, I know you got positive dreams. And maybe you, even if you're too old or you feel too old or whatever, but I know you got them. So what if we can, uh, yeah, if everybody, you know, would do that stuff. Ah, shit, but anyways, um, let me perform a song for you, because uh, I will look every one of you in the eyes right now when I, while I'm performing, and remember your faces, and in five years I'm going to be back here, and uh, I want to see you all on the stage, and hopefully I could inspire you or somebody else could, that you go out and pursue your dreams, because, you know, like, like I said, I'm not special at all, and you can do it too. You maybe have to find some help, or, you know, find people to collaborate, but it's going to be nice, I know it. So maybe? Let me get another microphone, because uh, as an MC, you need another microphone. <laughs> like that one. And let's play a beat. I don't need that stuff. I want you to, uh, to help me a little out, you know? You say, what if? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What if? Come on, man. You can do it. Let's do it. What if? Yes. Uh huh. The, even the people up there, they, they're louder than you. What if? Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. I'll see you. Come on. What if? That was too early, but still nice. Still nice, yeah. All right. Okay, maybe you. What if? Woo. Okay, sit, huh? Yeah. What if our system wasn't based on that? What if we turn on the news and just saw the basic fact? All sides of the metal, stuck the metal and we stuck the rebel. We forgot the nettle, we rather stuck together. What if we liked the way the race is chat? Lost the keys, neatly treated by police. Face was black, enough with the fossils. What if we put people over profit? Enjoy the time being at the office. What if we started laughing and stuck the gossip? Instead focused on being a better person myself. Our purse wasn't our wealth and we stopped smoking. Wow. Cause it's just a chronic curse for our health. What if the hearts of the women I mean Wasn't full of dots from the pain they received in the past <laughs> Relationships So many things to fix everybody What if Yes, the ego died But still we be alive What if Come on man, you, you can do better You can do better What if The ego died But still we be alive Yes, that's right, man. That we are one. That, that we, we is our. What if all mankind's vote away was a greed limit? Differ from the majority? No need to be timid. We spoke to each other, listen and learn. So we grow together and our frictions disperse. The young respected the old, the old respected the young. We make cash differently for manufacturing guns. All my folks were wide hat, shelter and food. No need for coming out. Love whom you choose, the wealth of some Wasn't made on the backs of the most Your passport didn't determine where your travels can go What if the world was made by mostly women 
God was universal love and not just for the ones of your religion. Come on, let me see your hands. It's just a vision. Yeah, peace and love. Thanks for listening. What if we found a better system that didn't force us to exploit everything? We need another mission, beautiful. We exploit our people, animals, the planet being banished with the cannon. We take it all for granted. Becoming villains out for billions, leaving a mess for our children. This is my land, now nah, it's my land. Debate about who stole it first. It's just a part of Earth, this might hurt. It's for everybody, borders should be blurred. What if we love for the love, no expectations? The good you do came back to you. <laughs> Feel the vibration, our family and friends didn't have to die. I helped you reach in your goals, I ain't after mine. One more time. What if the ego died, but still we be alive? What if Yes, we realize that we are one, that we is I. What if? Yes, the ego died, but still we be alive. What if? Yeah, beautiful. Thank you, you're good. Maybe you can also in five years come here and maybe sing, you know. Thank you.